Father, we worship you. We bless your name for another opportunity in your presence to hear from you. We thank you for the grace and opportunity you've given to us. We thank you for another chance to hear from you, Lord. Lord, we say, be there so in the mighty name of Jesus. We've come to your presence, Lord. Lord, speak to us yourself, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't want to be the air alone, but we want to be the door of your world. We want to be set free. We want to be set free. We want to sing a song of freedom. As we go into your world, Lord, speak to us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Interpret your word to us in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of today's service, we shall have focus to glorify your name. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Please appreciate yourself as you sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please kindly welcome the person beside you. Tell him or her you are welcome. I can't hear you. Tell him or her you are welcome. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I want to appreciate this opportunity given to me by Papa, uh, Reverend Dr. B.C. Afolayon and Pastor Busala Afolayon and the pastorates. Please, let's appreciate them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you ready for God tonight? Praise God. Are we all ready for God tonight? This month is tagged as a month of songs of freedom. Songs of freedom. Songs of freedom. And on Saturday, we had a program. Pastor Celeste came up to say we have to fight. Deborah fought for freedom to give it to Israel. Pastor Shekun came on Sunday telling us before we can have freedom, you have to fight. Before you can have freedom, you have to what? Fight. People who gain freedom are what? Fighters. They are not people that are lazy. People who fight for their freedom are the ones who gain freedom indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, tonight, I want to say five things, five ways to enjoy freedom. Five ways to enjoy freedom. We've prayed on Sunday. We fought for our freedom. But what are the things you need to sustain your freedom? What are the things you need to sustain your freedom? Until, until when you are free, there's no way you can rise. 
until when you are free. Until when you gain your freedom, there is no way you can rise. If I have to bring someone here to the altar and I have to press the person, the person does not gain freedom. And the person fights for his or her freedom before he or she can what can rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible in the book of John 8, verse 36. That will be our text tonight. John 8, 36. Until you fight for your freedom, until you are free, you can rise. Media, please help me. John 8, 36. Okay, he said, if the Son, therefore, shall set you free, you shall be free, what? Indeed. If the Son sets, that is, we are talking about what? Jesus Christ. If Jesus sets you free, you shall be what? Free indeed. And Jesus cannot set you free and leave you behind. Jesus cannot set you free and back out. Jesus cannot set you free and leave you like that. He has to stay there and make you. Making in progress. When Jesus Christ was telling, uh, told Peter that I will make you a fish out of men. Making where what you want to become does not exist. What you want to become does not exist. You, it, there's a process. That process is what? Making. As a husband, you can't, you can't just tell your wife, instruct your wife, I want to eat. Please, make eba for me. The eba is nowhere to be found. Am I correct? The eba is nowhere to be found. But it's a process of what? Making. Process of making. When you bring your gari and when you bring your hot water, then you make it. You make eba. Fried rice does not exist. You have to get all the ingredients. And what are the ingredients for you to be free indeed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Making is a what? Process. Oh, thank God I've prayed on Sunday. I've prayed I'm free indeed. But don't forget, when you are free, someone can still attack you and put you in bondage. But there are some things, there are some things that have to sustain your freedom. There are some things that have to sustain your freedom. Hallelujah. He said, each time we talk of deliverance, the only thing that comes to our mind is demon. When you're talking about, if you're having a deliverance service, you say, ah, all the witches and wizards in my village, they will leave my... Freedom doesn't mean demon. It's part of it, but that, the way we picture it, when you're talking about deliverance, I need to, do, I, you need to come for deliverance. You think you will start manifesting. No. You think you start manifesting. He said, but a person can be free of demon and still not be completely what, free. No wonder, anytime you're having a revival service, people that manifested last year, they will still manifest this year. It's not about the demon now, now. But it's about, about what is eating in you, what is eating you that is keeping you in, into, uh, in bondage. I've not started, though, but some people, it's forgiveness. You, you, you find it so difficult to forgive. And it's keeping you in a tight bondage. You are not free. You can be a pastor. You can be a great preacher. But you have the art of unforgiveness. It's a bondage. You can't be free. How many of you have witnessed this? You offended someone. Or people, maybe someone offended you and keep the person in mind. And you're having a nice time with your family, maybe outside, you're enjoying fresh air. Immediately the person pass or the person come in, you keep quiet. You are destroying yourself. Happiness does not come that way. Happiness 
does not come that way. So when you are talking about when you are talking about freedom, it's not about demon. You can be free of demon, but you are not completely free. Hallelujah. Is someone getting something tonight? Hallelujah. He said, you need healthy mind to be well. Healthy mind to be well. Healthy mind to be well. The Bible says, as your soul prospers, your soul has to prosper before you start manifesting it in, in physical. When your soul is damaged, it will show in your outside. Your soul has to prosper. Your soul has to be well. Your soul has to be well. Everybody seated here, you have one or two things in your mind. You have one or two things in your mind. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to prepare us for five things we need to talk about tonight. I'm just trying to prepare us. He said, a slave has nothing on his own. He labored others. He, did, he, he labored for others and he gave no results. I pray our own won't be like that in the mighty name of Jesus. We won't labor and not get results in the mighty name of Jesus. A slave doesn't have anything on his own. Look at the master before he can feed, he can do anything. We're talking about freedom. We're talking about freedom. Until you are free, life became so hard. Until you are free, life became, become so hard. Become so hard. You find life so difficult. You find life so difficult. We're talking about Joseph. Joseph was not free when he was in prison. He have everything. He can interpret vision. He can do it. But he's not free. He's in prison. He can't manifest. He can't manifest. God who brought Joseph out of prison will bring you out of your prison in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I hear a louder amen? Joseph was not free. When he was in prison. When we had our reality talk show, me, I, I was I was seeing I was seeing different different picture. Please, I, I want you to listen to me. Pastor Fred gave us uh, something to watch on, on the screen when uh, during our reality talk show. A donkey was tied on a plastic chair. How many of you remember the, uh, the picture? A donkey was tied on a plastic chair. Now, this is what limits most of us. It's not that the donkey cannot move that plastic chair, but his mind has, has, been, has been set that this is where you will be. Listen, that donkey has been tied when the donkey was so small and couldn't move the chair. So he grew up with that mindset. That nothing can make me move from this place. De despite is very big. Our mindset has drawn us back from freedom. Oh, in my family, nothing good can come out of it. In my family, they do marry second wife. In my family, they die at 40. In my family, nobody uh, go to school. In my family, nobody has even entered a plane and travel to... Dubai or Ghana. Your mindset has been set. The Lord will set someone free tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. God elevates Joseph in the land of Egypt where he suffered as a slave. God elevated Joseph in a land where he suffered as a slave. We are suffering here in Nigeria. Am I correct? That's people's knowledge. That's what they know we are suffering. But God can still find, can still lift you up in this land. We are still talking about freedom. Now, 
Let me mention five ways. Enjoy complete freedom. Number one, five ways to enjoy complete freedom. We've prayed, we are free. We are free indeed. But five ways to enjoy complete freedom. Number one, claim the finished work of Christ. Claim the finished work of Christ. See, don't claim the finished work of men. Don't claim the unfinished work of men. Don't claim the unfinished work of your parents. Don't claim the unfinished work of your uncle. Don't claim the unfinished work of your sister. Oh, my sister. You have to claim the finished work of God. The Lord will supply all my needs according to his riches. He's so rich. So rich. Claim, claim all the finished work. When Christ is about to pass on on the cross, he said it is finished. You don't need to suffer the way Christ suffered. You don't need to suffer the way Christ suffered. He has paid everything just for you and I. And that should be, that should be one thing we should hold, that we should always claim the finished work of Christ. We should always claim the finished work of Christ, not of men. Men can fail. Men can fail. A lot of promises men have made. And don't worry, you just, that course, oh, civil engineering, I want you to choose that course. You just finish. There's a work for you in ministry. This one is quite funny. There's, I don't know, maybe someone told me, I, oh, I read it online. Someone's uncle. Okay, I think that guy was looking for a job. He now called his uncle. Uncle, I'm done with my NYC. I'm a graduate and all that. The uncle said, please send me your CV. And that guy forgot to send the CV. So, maybe they have him, maybe they met somewhere or something like that. Month, month like that, met that uncle. He said, ah, uncle, good morning, you know. Ah, he said, ah, I have not forgotten your CV. I'm working on it. Meanwhile, the guy forgot to send the CV. So, don't put your trust in men. Someone that forgot to send CV, and uncle says he's working on it. Men who what? Who say you. Uh, I, I, and I've, I, I've, I've sent my account number to this man, oh, and he didn't reply. He's not thinking about you alone. But you have to claim what God says concerning you. Everything is in the word of God. What is God saying concerning you? What is God saying? That is number one. You have to what? claim the word finished work of Christ. Number two, develop intimacy with God. What is your relationship with God? Are you far away? Papa was saying something the other time. That someone, that someone that is far away from me and someone that is so close and both of them ask something. Who do you think he would rather give? Someone close to him because he knows that person. Did God even know you? You are just you are just going to church. I'm a Christian. Everybody knows I'm a Christian. You carry Bible Tuesday, Thursday, on Sunday, Saturday. You come to church. But did God knows you? Develop intimacy with God. Daniel eleven thirty two b. Daniel verse eleven. Daniel eleven thirty two. He said, "But the people that do know their God, people who know their God." shall do exploit, shall be strong and do exploit. Do you know your God? Do you know your God? I remember the prodigal son. After he has told his father, please share half of your property. Let me just find my way. Let me go to, I want to jack out. This one is not good. This one is not that. And he, he spent everything he had. He came back. 
And the brother was saying, when the father killed the father's uh, ram, this and celebrated him, the father said, ah, me that have been with you since all these days. You don't even do this one for me. Say, ah, you are my son. You know everything belongs to you. But ignorance. The brother does not know that everything his father has is his own. That is, that is the majority of Christians. You don't believe that everything Christ has is for you. You can claim everything he has. We have a big God. We have a big God. You have to develop what? Intimacy with God. Have a relationship with God. Move closer to God. Don't let your heart be far away. We are still on five ways to maintain, to, 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 be, to enjoy complete what? freedom. Number one, you have to what, claim the finished work of God. Number two, develop intimacy with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, avoid bad company. Avoid bad company. Uh, he's my friend from secondary school. He's my friend from secondary school. A friend that will pull you out. That will, pull, that will pull you down not to do the will of God. Avoid them. Avoid them. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. 1 Corinthians 15 33. He said, do not be deceived by those who, who say such things for bad complaint corrupt good character. Bad complaint. Corrupt good manner. Evil communication corrupts good manner. When you are, there are sometimes I enter class and I teach mathematics. And we all know this formula. When you say plus times plus, I you know maybe we are still have mathematicians in our miss. Plus times plus is what? Plus. Plus times minus is what? Why? Why is plus times minus? Minus. When, when you have a minus friend, you yourself become minus. There's no way you put a good fruit, good mangoes, and put bad one. With time, everything will be bad. With time. With time. You can't have minus times plus and be plus. No, never. It's never done. Your friend determine where you are going. If you have, if you have, if you have, you go nowhere. That's my friend. Your friend that you 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 have emergency. Your friend will just say, you know, we are the same thing. Maintaining to enjoy your complete freedom, avoid what bad complaint. Avoid bad complaint. Avoid by complaint. Number four, develop a hunger for truth. Develop hunger for truth. There's no way you've eaten something this morning and you say you won't eat again. Is that possible, sir? You ate this morning, you say you never eat again. It's not possible. When you eat the word of God, be be hungry for it. You get more. Since last week, you've not eaten, sir. But since last, since last week, some people have not carried their Bible. They don't want more. They are filled already. And when, when you don't eat healthy food, this is how you'll be working. You have stamina. You have to be hungry for the truth. See, when you know the truth, no need of deliverance. It's because when you know the truth, the Bible says, when you know the truth, the truth what shall set you what free. This truth shall what set you free. Pastor, lay hand on me. I'm having malaria. Everybody will lay hand on you. But when you when when you are hungry for the truth. The truth was set you free. Only those who are hungry and thirsty after righteousness, 
get filled. You are looking for a job. You stay in your house. You don't even make any progress. Brother, they call something what? Sapa is on the way. When, 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 when you are hungry for it, you stand up. You take action. You take action. If I end there needs money and he has flashed that he messaged that he will take action, will borrow money and come to Lagos. They will look for the money, he will go back. He flashed that he messaged that he daddy ignore. You now say, say I'm hungry. You, you look for transfer money, come home. Daddy will look for me. I'm not telling Liza. So you have to be hungry for more. You heard the truth, keep let the testy. You have to be testy. It's not enough. I, on this Christian race, it's not enough. That is what will develop your faith. It is a faith coming what, by hearing and by the hearing what the word was, the word of God. Faith is not inbuilt. You develop it. You know, we have inbuilt memory and we have uh, external one. But some people are inbuilt. But this faith is not inbuilt. You have to develop it. From the word of God, there is no truth. We, are all, we, we only have facts. We only have facts. The truth can only be found in the word of God. Now listen, this happens to so many Christians. We all call our Christ, ourselves Christians, but we don't know the benefit we have in Christ. We don't know the benefit we have in Christ. That is why we call ourselves Christians, but we don't know how to activate it. We don't know how to activate it. Is it possible for you to be in your house and you don't know where the kitchen is? It's not possible. It's not possible. He said, good things may happen once in a while to an ignorant people, but a man of understanding enjoys the constant what, dominion. When you have the understanding of God, you have constant dominion, constant freedom, constant testimony. Testimony that can never be shaken. Your testimony just keeps coming because you understand. You understand the word of God. You understand how to make use of it. You don't stand on the fact, but you stand on the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many are in the house, but you don't know what you have in your house. Is that possible? You are in your house, but you don't know what you have in your house. Some people, you are Christian, but you don't know that you are, you, 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 you are entitled to a lot of benefits in Christ. You don't know you are entitled to what? To a lot of benefits in Christ. Practice the truth you know. As from today, as you step out, you begin to confess the word of God to your life. You, give, you begin to confess the word of God in your life. You begin to practice it. You begin to practice it. See, when, when, when you know how to activate things in Christ, everything becomes so easy. Everything becomes so easy. Miracles, miracles of God is not a magical it comes with faith. There's no magic. God, God, God is not a magician. No, 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 no. God is not a magician. It's what you say with your mouth. What you confess, that's what comes to pass. We are still going there. The death and life, the power word in the tongue, lies in the tongue. What you say, what are you saying concerning your life? No matter what situation you find yourself, speak what positively. Speak the word of God. That is the only truth. That is the only truth. You have to speak the word of God. Number five. Watch your tongue. 
Watch your tongue. He said, never give permission to the enemy. Through your word, your words. Some people, enemy gain access with your tongue. They, they gain access to your life through what you say. What you say. I want to commit suicide. You are saying and you are laughing. I will, don't worry. I will test my parents. I will try and kill myself. Say positive things. Please, don't, don't, give, don't give enemy permission to penetrate. Your bad yes says, Alang ba ole, wogiri, tile ogonti, ogiri obalanu, togiri obalanu, alang ba ole guri. The Elisa can't disappear now. When, when you don't open door for lizard, the lizard can't penetrate the wall. Mommy, am I correct? So you give permission, you give enemy permission to come to your life through your word, your word. You have to watch it. Watch your tongue. To, 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 to enjoy the complete freedom, watch your tongue. After some people live here on Sunday, with their tongue, they will still go and commit sin. And they will land them in police station. They are free, oh, but with their tongue. I was there when it happened. And you were not there. You were not there. Yes, she, she was the one that carried your wife yesterday. I saw them. You, you didn't say anything. Your tongue. Watch your tongue. Proverbs 18, verse 21. He said, death and life are in the power of what? Tongue. Are in the what? Power of tongue. Some, their problem is not even accessory power. It's not even which are wizard. Their problem is their tongue. They can't, they can't, they can't keep their, they can't keep quiet. Mm. No, ah, in my, in my own town, we don't, we don't take nonsense. So we give it the way it came. You give it to us, we give you back. Remember, you are in Christ, so all things are what? Pass away. Even your, your, your own town, everything is what? Pass away. You are now in what? A family of what? Christ. Forget about where you come from. We will give you direct. I don't take nonsense. But for Christ's sake, why can't you just keep your mouth shut to be safe? When you say something, you can't pick it again. It's just like egg. Ah, I'm very sorry. I was angry. That's what I insulted you. I was angry. That, see, if you want to hear the truth, make someone get angry. You hear what the person means to you. You, you hear it. You. You will be saying they sing any for church. And that's the fact. Mind your tongue. Mind your tongue. It's very powerful. Mind your tongue. If you want to enjoy the complete freedom, mind your tongue. Hallelujah. And the last one before you close tonight. Avoid what? Sin. Avoid sin. Sin make you... You, 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 be far, you, you separate yourself from God. Com completely. You separate yourself from God. I do tell my class, uh, my, uh, our, in our class for Bible study, if you are talking about someone that is wicked, I'm very, very wicked. But if you see me, you will know uh, Dagogu. Uh, Dagogu has never fought in this church. He's very calm. Yes, I'm calm. But I was wicked then. You can't, you, you, you can't just try me. When I was small, I, I, I have to pursue from here. Let me say from, from Lamb Junction. I pursue someone from Lamb Junction to Tipa Guy with stone. But you, you say, uh, you, uh, you are from Mondo, so you have to be. There's all things are what passed away. Avoid all those things for Christ's sake. Let them call you fool. Yes, you are fool for Christ. You are fool for Christ. Don't do something that will hurt you, that will make people fall because some people are depending on you. When you fail, they fail. Pastor said it on, on Sunday. 
There are some people that are looking up to you. Sister Gloria, Sister Glory, I love the way she dresses. But when you displays in church, ah, eh? so you mind the way you do because of what Christ and people that are looking up to you, so that they won't fall in Christ. I said I want to say five things, but now I've mentioned six. Number one, we talk about five, six ways now. Six ways to enjoy complete freedom. Number one, we're talking about what? Claim the word finished work of Christ. You have to claim it. Not unfinished work of men. Men can fail you. It's only God. He said, God is not a man that should lie. He's not a man that should lie. What he said will do, he will do it. It's just you, you are in hurry. Claim the finished work of Christ. Number two is what? Develop intimacy with God. Have a relationship with God. To enjoy complete freedom. Have a relationship with God. You, you are opportuned, you are opportuned to meet the governor of Lagos State. And after, after the contract, you say, I, would, I don't want to see this man again. No. You, 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 you keep calling, even though you don't have anything to say. Hello, sir, I'm just checking on you. You are building what? Relationship. So that I know that, oh, anointed, uh, I remember, you were the one that signed uh, 50 billion, I just signed, uh, I still remember you. You have a what? Intimacy, have a relationship with him. Number three is what? Avoid what? Bad complaint. To enjoy complete freedom, you have to what? Avoid, avoid bad friends. Friends that will allow you to see vision. Friends that will have to go to the next level, avoid them. Number four, develop hunger for the truth. To enjoy complete freedom, you have to develop hunger for the truth. Let the truth be what you'll be looking for every minute, every time. Start for what is truth, not fact. They want to, they want to, I had, I read one, uh, one news. He said, uh, from January now, people will start queuing uh, uh, in back. That they want to unify ATM. I, I, I don't understand that English. They want to unify. Maybe, maybe we won't have GTB again. No. I don't, maybe access. No. Maybe all the bank will not be one. I don't understand that English. But that one, that the facts. But when you stand for the truth, and it, uh, I posted, I screenshot it. I, I posted it. My wife said that ah, this is another way of you making money. I just laugh because I know no matter the condition of Nigeria, me, I will find my way to make money. I will find my way. You have to what? Develop hunger for the, word, for the truth. Number five, watch what? Your tongue. Watch your tongue. Then the last one is what? Avoid sin. Have you been blessed tonight? Have you been blessed tonight? Let's bow our head and begin to appreciate God. The Lord, thank you for to, to, tonight. What? We bless your name. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God. The Lord, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Give us the to pursue truth. Give us the ability, give us the grace, Lord, to pursue what is truth in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us the ability to be able to mind our tongues. Everywhere we go, give us the ability, give us the grace to be able to mind our tongue. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help us tonight. Let us be the doer of your word. Lord, we don't want to hear alone, but we want to be the doer of the word. We want to enjoy complete freedom tonight. We want to enjoy complete freedom as for the rest of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of this. Please let's jam your hands together.